Webheads, happy new comic book day. Let me just tell you, it seems like an eternity since I've walked into the comic book store, but I'm about to do it. I'm going to buy maybe some new comics. I don't know, but I'm going to try to find something in there. It's just happy to be back, for me at least, that there's some normalcy. So I'm going to go inside, and you're going to see what I get. But first, I got to put on that mask. Hey y'all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, I'm your host Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you Spider Slayer's comic book haul, it's back, this is episode 419 and this is the video series where each and every week I share with you what I picked up at the comic book store. Now there wasn't very many comics that came out this week, a handful of like DC Comics, and I didn't buy those. I went to the shop and I looked at back issues. That's what I went to go pick up this week. So, also I needed a new box, so I wound up getting this Empire box. Yes, the newest Marvel event eventually to hit your comic book shops. But yeah, I was excited to get this box. So at any time, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. And uh, if you want to join the membership option, go ahead and do that as well. Just hit join. So here we go. Mysterious black bag. Inside, we have comic books. Again, not new ones, some old ones. Here we go. So, first thing that I wound up getting is issue 13 of Nova. That's right, volume one. Uh, my shop wound up getting a whole bunch of new back issues in, and they had them behind the counter. I was like, let me look at this stack, let me look at this stack. And so I kept it affordable, and I just picked up some cool stuff, stuff that I normally wouldn't see. It's got the Sandman on there doing battle against crime buster whoever the heck that guy is so yeah it looks pretty cool happy to have it in the collection so next when it comes to nova i also wound up getting issue 12 this is where nova is fighting spider-man that's a pretty badass cover uh who would win in this battle right is it spider-man or nova i would have to say nova by far but i think this is cool because he goes you killed my uncle web slinger and now i'm going to make you pay and spider-man's like you want to bet <laughs> so yes, we wound up getting that. Then we got Nova, The Man Called Nova, issue 14. And we have that one where, yes, he's doing battle against Sandman once again. He's back, the sinister Stan Man, deadlier than ever. And he's wearing some weird costume. Like, when did he wear a face mask? Like, I never even knew that was a thing, right? And then I got the oldest issue that was out of the bunch. And this is The Man Called Nova. This is issue 8. And uh, and I bought this one because this is at the hands of Mega Man. That's right, Mega Man was a comic book character before he was a video game character. So I was like, freaking cool, that's Mega Man, right? So when issue eight, I had to get issue nine because Mega Man is on there again. I'm like, yeah, and look, he uses a, like a hand powers to destroy Nova. So very similar, right? So that was pretty cool. So I was happy to get those uh, Nova issues. All right. So then I dug through a couple Daredevil stuff, right? So, oh, wait, there is one more Nova one. Sorry, Nova issue 21. Um, I like this one because it just says, I can't hide the truth any longer. Richard Ryder is Nova. So it's like he's giving his identity to the world or to people, whatever it was. And I just thought the cover looked cool. All right, so that is truly the end of the Nova books. Now we go on to a few Daredevils. So I wound up getting Daredevil issue 99. This is Daredevil and the Black Widow. And she's teaming up with um, uh, Hawkeye in here too, which I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so this is a little bit older issue. Uh, I just liked it because I, I like the cover. So I thought that was neat. And then you have issue 108 where it looks like um, the Black Widow is still in the book, but it's not called Daredevil and the Black Widow. It's just called Daredevil. And it says uh, it's co-starring the Black Widow and Daredevil is doing 
uh, battle against the original Beetle, which I thought was cool. I'm like, that is a nice looking cover right there. Definitely had to pick that one up. Right? Spider-Man character. Can't go wrong with that one. And then you have 103. Sorry, these are out of order. Uh, but it goes back to the uh, Daredevil and the Black Widow title. And, and Spider-Man is in the book. And it says, face it, Hornhead. Spider-Man can't help you and neither can the Widow. Ain't enough superheroes in the world to beat up on Ramrod. So Ramrod's in this issue trying to do battle against all three heroes. And that is pretty badass. We got some great classic comics here. And the last book that I wound up picking up for this week went to The Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue 152. Uh, the Shocker makes his appearance once again and goes, Webhead, you've tangled with me one too often. This time you're going to be shattered by the Shocker. That's right. And he goes, he's right. Once I hit those whirling dynamo blades, it'll be goodbye, Spidey. And that's how that the story is told on the cover. I love these classic covers, and I love the shocker. So there you guys have it. Not a huge haul, but nevertheless, it's a haul, and it's a start, and we got to begin from somewhere. So guys, if you were able to make it to the shops this week, if your shops are open, I would love to see what you guys actually got. Just put it in the comments below. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until next time, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, and I'll see you real soon, guys. Take care. Bye.